So the first thing we need to do is to create a database to store this content. So let's go to our Acquia Dev Desktop control panel here and click on the Manage My Database button. This will open up PHP My Admin that will include a list of the databases that are currently being used by the various sites you've created through the interface. What we're going to do here is create a new database. Here on the home page of PHP My Admin, we have a dialog here. So what I'm going to do is create a database called Amazing Inc. And then I'll click the Create button. In this next step, what we're going to do is build an administrative system to allow the users to log in to the site to be able to manipulate content. In order to do that, we need to be able to store user information somewhere. So let's begin by creating a users table in this database. So after we created our database, we are provided with a dialog to create a new table. So I'm going to type in users. And then I'm going to add 10 fields. We're not going to use them all. But this way we have some extras just in case we need to add some fields beyond what we were originally thinking. So as far as fields go, we need to have a unique identifier for our user. In a previous video, we talked about the benefits of using a numeric identifier for a piece of content instead of using something that's part of the content itself. So before, when we created a user table, we used the username as the unique identifier. In this case, what we're going to do is create an auto-incrementing field that will automatically associate a number with the user that's completely separated from the actual content, which means that later on we can edit the username or the password freely without affecting anything else with our script. So in this first field, let's type out UID, which is short for user ID. The type we can leave at integer. We can leave the length at the default. And if we scroll over, we'll see a column called AI. We can hover over it and it will say auto increment. We want to click that. I'm going to scroll back over to the left here. And we need a username field. And we're going to set the type here to vercare. And we're going to set the length to 100 for now. That's all we need to do to that field. And for the third field, it's going to be password. And we're going to set this to vercare. And we're going to set the length to 32 for now. Now that we have this all set, let's go ahead and scroll down and click Save. OK, we see our SQL statement here that created the table. We see our fields right here. And so we're good to start entering content. Now we're going to build a full interface for manipulating users. But for now, let's start by inserting one through PHP My Admin. I'm going to click on the tab that says Insert. And we're going to leave the UID blank. This will automatically be filled with a number, which is one more than the highest number in the database at the time. And let's go ahead and fill in the username. I'm going to go ahead and put Chris. And for the password, I'm going to put test. And then I'm going to click go in order to add the record. OK, so this will provide us with the structure that we need in order to test out our next setup.